Welcome to the Sunday Night Shooters edition of Common Man Cocktails and Happy Valentine's Day. This episode we're going to do the Pomegranate Passion Punch Shooter because I can. The uh, Passion Punch typically is a full recipe. What I did is I think I reduced the ingredients. I might not have even done that. I might have just written them down and said I'm putting it in a shot glass, so screw. Um, this recipe is going to have all kinds of crazy stuff. Don't mind that for a minute. We're going to use Florida Kanye Extra Dry 4-Year-Old Light Rum. Pretty good stuff. We've got Pomegranate Palm Wonderful 100% Pomegranate Juice. Seen this before if you watch the show. If not, go to that site and search Palm. We even had a contest once. Uh, we're going to use a just a tad of cranberry juice. A tad is like a splash. It's just my own terminology. Ginger ale. And we're going to have a little pineapple juice. Lots of ingredients, but that's okay. Because what I got here, I think I've teased this earlier in the week, is the, the paddle, the party paddle. This is this is kind of a neat little thing. It's, it's like 10 bucks. And... The guy that sent this to me as a review, I believe he started a company and he's he's patented this thing because, I mean, nobody's thought of this. Go figure. And uh, so I thought I love to see new companies try and do something new like we're kind of doing. So it seemed only appropriate that we, we show it off and uh, they sent us some in the mail so we can run a contest. I just don't know what to do yet. So give me next week we'll start the contest. I think that would be fair. So this is a good introduction. We've already put it on Facebook and some people already have purchase them because they look so neat so you can go to partypaddle.com if you just want one now the other thing we've got going is homemade ginger ale by homemade i mean just kind of halfway homemade i didn't i don't have ginger um so this is if you've ever seen a soda stream this is there's no high fructose corn syrup which is the, is cool and my kids have been drinking the crap out of this so it's almost gone we have just enough for this this specific episode but it's like regular ginger ale. It tastes like regular ginger ale without the high fructose corn syrup. And their pitch is it's recyclable because you always re- you reuse these bottles over and over again. So there's no you know you're not just buying bottles. Cause I always buy these tiny little bottles of everything. So the this is I, I love this product. My kids love this product. They they just drink all these all the time. So well not all the time but too much. And um, I pitched them and told them they, they should do a sponsorship, so maybe we'll get one of those in a couple weeks. For now, I'm using it to make ginger ale to show you because this is going to be part of my bar tools when we do our par, ba, bar tools episode. We'll do this later when we get all the famous stuff. The famous bar tools episode that I still don't have my jiggers for. Um, what That's going to go last because we're going to top all these shots off. So what we'll do first is we're going to build it, and let's get all my stuff. I'm so lost. Okay, let's do the light run. This is really, this is it, folks. This is the alcohol in this shot, so it's not going to be extremely potent, which is okay. It's a, it's a good way of loosening up. Maybe you're having a Valentine's Day party. Does anybody do that? I don't see why you can. Everybody wear red. That's an interesting party. Oh, I mean, you could wear like a shirt that says Captain Love, and that's always cool. Um, but if you want it, I mean, if you're looking for an excuse for a party, a Valentine's Day party is good. Your swingers. I <laughs> never thought of that one. <laughs> if you're swingers, that's cool. Good on you. I mean, it's it's all share. You we learn to share early on in life, right? So you just follow that up. Uh, there's our pomegranate juice, so it's gonna be a little acidic, maybe a little bitter. We got our cranberry, so you're gonna get that splash of oh, new one. Splash of cranberry. Oh, that was a lot of splashes. Uh, two ounces of pineapple juice, and this will give us a nice thick consistency, which I, I really like pineapple juice in cocktails to begin with. And w- like I said, we're going to top it with, let's put this over here, we're going to top this with ginger ale, but we'll do that later. Now I need ice. And if you don't want to do it in a shot, you can do it in a full. In a regular glass. I would say probably either a martini glass. That's kind of cool. You might want to do it in a Collins glass. Because there's a good amount of alcohol here. Well, sorry, man. Now, the, what I'm questioning here is the usage of ginger ale with pomegranate juice. Never would have thought of that myself. So hopefully that's cool. But it does have the pineapple, so you're going to get a nice thickness to it. So let's see how many we can do here. And these are one-ounce glasses, but you got to leave a little room because you're going to want to top them off with ginger ale. 
They fill up pretty quick though when you start pouring. Oh, we could totally get all these. Check that out. We are gonna have a rough night. But there's only two ounces of alcohol. Could do that in one drink. That's like a Texas tea or something. Four ounces right here. Four ounces in the Martian orgasm. So it's all right. More than four. Probably more than four. Let's put that here for a minute. And I'm gonna do this. So this is a pretty cool little device. And when you buy if you buy the soda stream, this is the higher end one. Not the highest, but one of the higher ones, because it's got the what do they call that stuff? Brushed aluminum. And there's a carbonator in here. Huh? Stainless steel. Stainless steel. So what this is is just regular tap water. I poured it, threw it in the refrigerator for a little while. And inside this tube is a carbonator. So what you do is you just jam the sucker right on. I'm getting pretty good at this because the kid's always asking for it. You do this before you put the soda in there. That's where it gets interesting because I can't remember if the ginger ale is the one that creates the intense carbonation. So we may have a cool explosion. Um, then you do three slow pulls and you'll hear noises and it's pretty cool. I say three slow pulls. One, two, three. Three funny noises. Then you burn out the air so that you do not make a huge mess. Now that's done. Carbonated, flavored up, and we're good to go. And so basically it's just the syrup like you get if when I was a kid, I worked at Taco Bell. We used to suck the syrup out of the, the syrup tubes by themselves, which was always a good time. So it was pure Mountain Dew. If you've ever had pure Mountain Dew, it's a pretty intense experience. All right, here. Let's see if we could create, see how it's already bubbling up. Some of the sodas make a huge explosion, like very intense bubbling action. Other ones don't seem to that much. We, nope, we're good. This is, I think the orange soda that we have is worse for uh, intense explosions where it'll just start bubbling right up to the top and you're like, oh my God, I can't stop it. Um, so we're not going to have that problem here. So that's gone, but I bought another one for the kids so they're not going to freak out on me. And then we, to stir it, it's pretty easy. Do this, do this, do this. And now you've got yourself ginger ale, fresh ginger ale, fully carbonated ginger ale. I think it's gonna explode on me. Nope. Alright. So somehow I'm gonna pour these in here. I think I'm gonna use this because I'm not an idiot. Debatable. That is debatable. Alright, let's pour a little of this in here, each of these. Remember when this was the shortest show on the on on the on the week? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I, I think that was every crew. That was we started out where Sunday night shooters was gonna be like two minutes long. And that is no longer the truth. So, there we go. Pomegranate Passion Punch. I was kind of hoping for something a little more red. Because it's not very very um, holiday-esque. But it's cute, isn't it? It's pretty cute. I like it. It's cute. Check it out. Oh, it's cute. It's, well, we could probably drink one, right? Because I got a couple here. Whoa. That is a weird sensation to have. The ginger ale attack, followed by the like the, the fruity, pineapple and pomegranate, and the rum is lost. Yeah, there's a little heat, but nothing, nothing intense. You could definitely tell there's a, like the aftertaste has a little bit of that ethanol like burn, so you know it's it's definitely alcoholic, flavorful. It, it's kind of like the champagne schnapps thing, or the champagne with the peach schnapps week. It's got that like sweet but sour bitter because the like dryness. So you're getting a little a little dry, a little sweet. The, the ginger, definitely a neat little drink. Um, flavor, flavory, if that's a word. Um, so let's look at this week's comments. All right. Loading. I d clock writes... A connoisseur, to say the least, was part of the uh, subject, which I find hilarious because I do not consider myself any type of connoisseur. I guess I drink a lot here. so uh, I love the show. It has presented me with so many different opportunities in the home when it comes to cocktails. Every time I have a great get-together or social gathering, I use a lot of the drinks from the show, and they're always a hit. 
Derek and Jennifer add a wonderful dimension of co to cocktail making, and it is not only fun, but very informative and detailed. I really like the tasting show that you did with the rum, which is now called Alcohols by Volume. And I think that tasting competitions with Irish creams would be awesome as well as vodkas. You have my dedication. We will do vodkas, definitely. We've already had a couple of people ask on the show in our comments on alcoholsbyvolume.com to do vodkas. It's on the list. Irish creams, didn't even think of it. I can only find one, but I haven't been looking, so we'll have to go and see if we can find some other ones. Thank you for your comments. Thank everybody for your comments. If you want to hear your comments on the show, just keep writing. We have already had two or so since the last time I, I requested it last week. So, again, I am your host, Derek Schomer, for everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.